Unfortunately, this is how the shopping gets done when mom is out of town. Cedar went to Arizona for a few days for a wedding. Callie and Reed get to go to work with me. I love having them around and I especially love the fact that they want to be up here. The road has to get worse before it gets better. No, it's not. If you jump off, you get hurt. You better not do it. Pull it up. Keep pulling it up. Here it comes. Here it comes. Fill it up, shut her down. Good job, sis. The snow is melting. It's supposed to be in the 50s by the end of the week. My number one objective for this week is to get the gas line inspected and passed. In spite of the cold and the snow, we've always had water all winter. I'm getting down to where all the big projects are finished. Rather than having the P-trap for the washing machine and the wall being vulnerable, for freezing, I decided to rough it in outside of the wall. Not my first choice, but once the washing machine's in place, I'll forget it's there. I've got to put a few straps on the gas line and then we're good to go there. It's now just a process of taking care of some of the loose ends before drywall goes up. The plumbing and electrical inspections won't happen until next week, but I can get the gas line inspected at any time by the local inspector. I want to get all three of them up here before the road really gets muddy. That's probably going to happen next week. In the back of my head, I know that there are a handful of people that think we're pretty crazy for doing what we're trying to do up here in this part of town, especially people that know the area well. For the most part, our piece of land has always been a part of a ranch that was used during the warmer months. Most farms and ranches around town bring the cows close to home during the hard months. Just over four years ago, this land was designated as seasonal use only, which means you couldn't even live full time up here. We bought our land literally days after this designation had changed. 
I'm trimming out all of the electrical boxes in such a way that when I use a roto zip to go around the boxes while hanging drywall that none of the wires are vulnerable. This is something the inspector is going to want to see. This is basically all of the electrical work that I have left upstairs. I found a cabinet company online that will ship me cabinets directly. After giving them specific dimensions, the designer developed a layout of our house that shows the exact location of the center of all the sinks. It allowed me to go back over everything and confirm that everything's in the right place. This eases my mind to say the least. Everything's good. I've gone over it multiple times with the electrical. I've checked and rechecked everything. I've been hoping for a few years that we could tap the sugar maples up here and just see what kind of sap we get out of it. Thank you, Rick, for sending me the spiles and the bags to use. Rick laid out very specific instructions on the best way to do this by finding the south side of the tree, three to four feet off the ground, angling the spiles down, and installing the catch bag. Callie and Reed helped me drill the holes and tap the spiles in, and wouldn't you know it, in the middle of this, a nice little snowstorm blew in. It's supposed to be over 50 degrees by the end of next week. I'm thinking the sap will run good next week and we should be able to catch a fair amount. We all get a taste of the sap from the trees and it had a very pleasant taste to it. Okay, it's been an awesome week as far as getting things checked off the list is concerned. Um, I'm getting down to where I've got just little piddly things left to do. Um, I brought the um, cabinet layouts up here, the dimension layouts that I got from the company I'm working with and I went over everything, uh, made sure that my, um, that my lights that are gonna be over the top of the sinks are exactly where they're supposed to be. I made sure my plumbing rough ends are stubbed down exactly where they're supposed to be. Uh, this company that I'm working with is making it super easy um, to, to make sure that everything uh, looks good from their uh, virtual designs that they sent me. Um, I, I'm super excited about it, but, but the, main, the main accomplishment this week was getting that gas line passed and inspected. Uh, really wasn't that big of a deal, but at the same time it was a huge deal. Um, he, uh, the inspector got up here uh, yesterday morning. Um, I never sleep good whenever I've got, I, I just, I don't like, I guess I don't like these things that create minor uh, moments of stress in my life, so I never sleep good the night before. I bet I got four hours of sleep. And he's a friend of mine. He's a local inspector that I've gotten to be pretty good friends with. Um, I just, I don't know why. I worry about uh, these things that, that ultimately I don't have any subcontractors to point a finger at when something goes wrong. So if something's wrong, I gotta resolve it. And I don't wanna get these inspectors up here any more than I have to because the road is just horrendous. So. When he showed up, he went over a few things. He checked my uh, installation, uh, made sure everything was perfect. It took him less than 10 minutes. It was good to go. Um, once he was done, it was hilarious. Once he was done with the inspection, he looked at me and he said, I'm gonna give you some advice. Now we're about the same age, me and, me and this inspector, I would guess. 
Uh, I've known him for a few years now, and he's the one that I refer to when I say uh, the inspector that's gone above and beyond to help me, it's, it's him. Um, as far as the, uh, the number of, I've had to deal with a number of state inspectors, and they're, they're just by the book. And, and not that he's not, but he goes out of his way to point out what I can do to make things better. Um, he's an outdoorsman. He loves to be outdoors, loves to hunt, loves to do all those things. And I, I would figure if anybody had an understanding of why I want to live up here, it's him. So as soon as he gets done with the inspection, he gives me this look that's like he's never given me before. Very serious, almost to the point where I, I worried that I had done something wrong and he's about to tell me I got to tear something out. And he looks at me and he says, I'm going to give you some advice. And I, I, I said to him, I said, oh no, what did I do? And he said, nothing, nothing, you're good. He said, you finish this house, you finish the barn, you make about 500 grand off this and you move into town. And I started laughing. I thought it was hilarious. I, I, I told him, I said, I don't know if physically I could do this again. He said, then don't do it, buy a place in town. And we, we continued to talk about it for a few minutes. And I told him about the moose that I had walking through the backyard. He told, I told him about the, just living up here in nature. And he, he, he smiled and he said, you can get some of that in town. And uh, as much as uh, it was funny to hear him say that, there's part of me that goes, all right, we're on the right track. But there's also part of me that just reminds me that there's a lot of people that are watching and waiting to see if we can make this thing work. The road right now is the, the worst it's ever been at this point, meaning there's about a foot of snow that's melting and we've got trenches on both sides of where the, where the tires run. There's no place for the water to go, so there's, there's big old pools that are two feet deep in some places that we have to drive through here and there. But again, this doesn't happen very often. And if I have to build a vehicle that is used only for getting my wife and kids from the ranch here to the pavement, I'll build something. If I gotta find an old Suburban and build it just to get us out of here, if my wife wants to keep, uh, we've got some friends, you know, not far from here, where she could keep her car if we had to. But um, I know my wife's on board. I know it's gonna be a struggle. There's gonna be probably 30 to 45 days a year where it's gonna be a pain with this road. But my feelings are when doing what we're trying to do up here, there should be a give and take. There should be a balance. Frankly, there should be an overwhelming balance in the positive, the, the, the reasons why we live up here. When we have those, those negative days, when we have those challenges, um, we just have to remember the positive days. And so I can't wait. You know, when I heard him say that, I was just laughing inside. I was just laughing inside. Even if I could make 500 grand off this house, I wouldn't do it. I flat wouldn't do it. I just wouldn't do it. This is the most rewarding thing I've ever done in my life. And I can only imagine how those feelings are gonna change once we're living here, once we've got everything figured out. And once my family begins to just cherish the moments that we have here, and that's starting to change. Uh, Cedar has gone down to Arizona for another one of our, um, one of our nieces is getting married. And uh, my younger two kids were mad at me that I wouldn't bring them up here today. Normally, it, you know, it used to be I was pulling teeth trying to get them to, to come up here. Yesterday, I brought them up here to, to help me tap the maple trees for a couple of hours, and they didn't want to go home. And, and so these are, the, these are the, the things that I'm looking forward to, the conversations that I have with my kids that start with, Dad, when we move up there, can I do this? When we move up there, can I do that? And all of my kids are thinking that way now for the most part. And so that's, to me, that's what this is all about. So next week, I'm just gonna button up these last couple things that I had to do on the list, get the bird block in, get the caulking in, and the second the inspectors are out of here, I'm gonna hit the insulation as hard as I can, and I bet, I bet by the end of the week, I'm gonna have probably 75 or 80 sheets of drywall sitting right here. That's my goal anyway. So things are about to dramatically change and I'm super, super excited about it. Let's go, Ruby.